Hey guys, this is Carlos from the We're Just Fans podcast. I'm joined here today by my regular co-host, uh, Rios. Let them know what's up, Rios. In case anyone forgot, got to remind them. <laughs> yes, uh, as you can tell, Rios is, has not stopped wearing his uh, Astros gear, which is More totally shirts. fine. Uh, as, he, as he should. I, I stopped wearing mine right now. Actually, I've been wearing it all day, but just today for this one, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to put my Stone Cold t-shirt on classic. Uh, I feel like what Garrett Cole felt whenever he uh, left the Astros and he wore his own little logo. <laughs> Remember that? Representative of yourself. <laughs> yeah, I represented my, I'm representing myself and Steve Austin, apparently. So, no, nonetheless, uh, I still wear my, I'm still rocking my Astros gear on a daily basis, uh, even to work. It doesn't, I don't care. Like, I'll, I'll wear it. Uh, so, uh, let's do a little bit of talking. So, as you can see, by the way, I know that I just said Rios is here. Uh, there's one person missing. Of course, you know him as Poppy. He is not here uh, today on this show. He's fired. He's been let go. No, I'm kidding. No, he's uh, he's not able to swing by tonight on our Texans uh, pregame show against the Giants that we're going to be talking about a little later. And uh, nonetheless, uh, it's okay. I feel like we haven't really, uh, us three haven't been together much <laughs> because uh, uh, this Monday, this past Monday, we went to the Astros parade. It was Poppy. And myself, we all went to the parade, and um, we had a lot of fun, but Rios couldn't go because he came down with a severe case of work, and so he couldn't make it, uh, which is okay because we had a lot of fun without him. We didn't need him. Uh, he's a very forgettable member in our podcast, so it's totally fine. Nobody likes him, as you can see. Uh, he's a horrible human being. Uh, that's, that's, that's the night, and that's the night. That's me being nice. That came from the heart. That's the that rated, that's a rated PG version. Yeah, that's the that exactly. That's a PG. Yeah, that's a PG version. I can go off. He that guy is just a terrible yeah. human being. I hate uh, that guy. I too. don't. <laughs> that guy what? I hate <laughs> that guy too. Yeah, that guy. See, that, that guy's terrible. So now let's talk about. That was me talking about Rios, by the way. This is uh, now. Now we're gonna talk about Poppy. God, does that guy smell or what? Jeez, garbage sitting out in the summertime. <laughs> He smells like pure gasoline, I swear. <laughs> yeah, he is putrid. He like kitty litter sitting out in the Houston summertime. That's exactly. That bat, exactly. Just like you said, he smells like kitty litter in this Houston summertime with the sun beating down on it at uh, 95 degrees outside, but it feels like 108. Yeah, that bad. Anyway, that's that's for, that's for Poppy. He's, he, he, hates, he, he loves these every time we talk about him like that. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, let's get, let's, what's that? <laughs> he loves the attention. Yeah, he loves the attention. Uh, so today we're actually starting today. We're using a different platform. Uh, most, uh, most of the things we use is uh, Zoom. Uh, we switched over to StreamYard and this is our trial run. So as you can see, uh, I'm just using the video <laughs> on this because my laptop's video ain't, isn't all that good. So that's why you get to hear this. I'm using the audio from my laptop and I'm using the video from a phone. So it looks like we have another guest. And when Poppy gets here, he'll probably be doing the exact same thing. And Rios, I hate to compliment him. This is not a compliment, sir. He looks good regardless. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't stop. Don't. Are you have what is what 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 is that? What is that shake? Why are you shimmying? First of all, <laughs> jeez, man, I can't with this man. I, I can't. Whose man's is this? Anyway, nonetheless, <laughs> let's get started with our. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, I know you weren't there, but I, I want to talk a little bit about the parade. Um, I, was I know there. that he was there in spirit. We were celebrating for him. Uh, when I went with Poppy, uh, it was a great experience. We, we got there super early. We didn't realize, I mean, we knew that there was going to be people there, uh, obviously for, because of the 2017th uh, world series parade. I was there for that one, but I decided to show up, uh, late because that's what I do. And so I showed up late that day in twenty in twenty seventeen, and uh, obviously I barely got to see the the trophy go by and all that. So this time I prepared for it. We left super early. We literally left. Um, I think we I went to go pick up Poppy uh, from my uh, from my apartment. I left. I want to say about eight thirty. I picked up Poppy probably around eight forty five. He's about ten fifteen minutes from me. 
uh we got to the parade we so when you take the parade you have to take public transportation well you, you don't have to but it's recommended because highly good recommend. luck find <laughs> highly recommended because good luck trying to find a uh, parking spot down there well you can find the parking spots let me let me let me rephrase that you can find the parking spots just getting out when everybody is coming out is, is going to be a pain it's so funny. it's not going to happen you'll be there for two days might as well get a hotel nonetheless uh it was a it was a great experience like it was it was very very similar to 2017 when everybody was just ecstatic everybody was happy uh i was one of those people fortunate enough to not be able to work on that day uh yeah. that's right sorry Rios. <laughs> yeah, I took up and, that. I, and I didn't have to, yeah and i didn't have to call off so that was the best part nonetheless um I we was were there we got in my own schedule so yeah, he yeah he makes his own schedule and he didn't make himself go to the parade. Whoa, oh, 2017, not this, not this time. I, I yeah, not yeah. yet. It's so, yeah, and so then uh, we get there and it's it's probably we get there probably around. Yeah, we took the we call it the metro here, but it's like the bus. Uh, we took it. And we we got there probably around nine thirty, like an hour later, whatever. Uh, and it wasn't packed yet, but there were still people. There were people showing uh, showing up already, so they were early. Uh, we took some uh, some food. Uh, we made some arepas, you know, uh, if you're familiar with it. Um, so we had some arepas there. We had some, you know, we had what we could because it was hot for November in Houston to be 85 degrees. That that is that that is pretty hot, and we were sweating. It was it was bad. It was bad overall. Nonetheless, weather-wise, it was pretty bad. So we go there, we get there, and um, the the barricade. We get there like right, we're like right at the front, and then uh, I think they extend the barricade more as time gets by. So we like ran to get even closer than where we were, and so a lot of the a lot of the videos that you guys saw me post on on our Twitter or on our YouTube uh, page, uh, it was we were so close to the, those guys to Jeremy Pena to. Um, uh, you, you name them to Nettie's like they were in, like, like, I think they were like on the same flow, Pena, Nettie's, Nettie's, uh, Montero, who just got signed by the Astros. Um, let me see. We, I think, uh, I think Christian Javier and Frommer and Jordan Alvarez were in that same one, that same flow. It was amazing. Uh, we were trying to head over to little Woodrose right after. Cause I think, uh, Bregman was having like a little after party. No way we could have gone through. It was bad. Uh, then, uh, it was fun. It was a great experience. We got to see the trophy go by, which was amazing. Uh, then, you know, we go, we're trying to get our, our, on our way home and you could not get home with the, uh, we have the, the rail here. It was packed. It was beyond packed. I think we didn't get home to like maybe five or something. We had the Uber, but we had to keep walking <laughs> a good far distance and let the traffic die down until we were able to get an Uber. Yeah, it was yeah, like and, people in downtown Houston. And, yeah, no yeah. one was leaving anytime soon. Right. Uh, we didn't realize. Okay, so obviously this particular parade had more people than the first one did. Uh, yeah. It was estimated. I think it was estimated to have at least like 2.2 million people at this particular parade in a city where like seven million people reside in. Uh, it was Great about area. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, crazy. Exactly. It was a. Uh, it was nonetheless. It was a. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, again. Honestly, I believe it, it, you know. Let's say we 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 go to the World Series in twenty twenty three. I don't think I'm going to go to that parade anymore. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Rios probably will. I will. Yeah, you'll see Rios. me walking down the street, double fisting champagne. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the fifty cent champagne. <laughs> the fifty cent champagne. Remember the the what are the Astros running up a bill for like four hundred k on champagne alone? It'd be one of yeah. those bottles. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, but it was it was a lot of fun, dude. Like it, I, I, I'm sorry. It sucks that you had to miss it, Rios, but it was it was pretty fun. Uh, I like how you keep reminding me. <laughs> hey, Rios, I don't know if you noticed, but but it was pretty fun that parade. Uh, it was it was it was fun. I I everybody was having fun. There was things going on everywhere. People, yeah, it was amazing. It was the best right. experience. I'm sorry that you missed it. But I it was great. Every single one of you, two point two million people. I hit all of you. <laughs> the bottom okay. of my heart. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so don't worry, I'll do my best to remind you constantly of how good that parade was and how you missed it. So that's my job from now on, okay? I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably the only, yeah, there you go. I don't, I don't love you at all. You're terrible. You're a horrible human being. 
no um nonetheless it was a great it was, it was a great experience but um i don't know again i don't know if i'll try it again next year if they win it so we'll see what's up all right uh let's move on to the game no one watched the game no one watched during i think it was game five of the world series yeah, uh, we're talking about the Texans versus Eagles. We'll do a little recap on that since we weren't able to do I it unfortunately watched, last time. I watched both at the same time. Uh, so I, was, I said off air, I was watching the on my on the TV. I was watching the Astros on my laptop. I was watching the Texans with the audio on on the, on the laptop because let's be honest, guys, that audio during the World Series, man, I felt like I was watching a Phillies home game. Like, what are we <laughs> doing, man? Like John Smoltz. Terrible, like bro, like are are you paid by the Phillies? Like, wh- what are you doing, man? Your job is to be unbiased. There, there was no unbiased. You can hear the disdain for Houston every time he said the just the name Houston or mention an Astros player is just you can just sense the disdain in his voice inflection. Like, bro, like come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. It was a uh, it, it was not a good broadcasted World Series, in my opinion. You know, the, you know how bad it was that I actually missed Joe Buck. That's yeah. how bad this particular World Series was just presented. It was awful uh, as far as uh, the commentating goes. Uh, and I agree with you. It was like it was very one sided, very biased. I understand that uh, people wanted the Phillies to win. America wanted the Phillies to win because of our reputation. Yeah, 88% right? of the country wanted them to win. And you know what? Oh, well. Oh, well. Guess what? 88% of the country was wrong. So that's how it is. That's how I see it. I don't know about you. I was crying. Yeah, 88% of the of the country was crying. So, it, you know, just sit there and guess what? Still, you're 2022 world champions. Their tears. It is. Their tears oh, are those tears. Let's right. drink the tears of those. Tears, brother. Ah, uh, LaCroix, of course. Anyway, what are you drinking? Guinness. Of course. Of course. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why no one likes you. I'm mean, sorry, what? No. <laughs> no. Nonetheless. Uh, yeah, man. It was... Uh, I, I, did, I didn't enjoy the commentating. The commentating was awful. It was very one-sided, like you said. And uh, it, it, it just wasn't appealing like and like i said i i miss joe buck that's how bad it was joe i miss was- joe buck reminding me how old juan soto is that's how bad i that's how bad i miss it got to the so point i've been sap let me see the game in spanish <laughs> oh yeah the, the spanish announce the spanish announcers oh man. we they need to make that like uh like kind of like the manning cast you know like the alternative to the main broadcast oh like, yeah the way especially with that you are on home run you listen to it in spanish man that just if that doesn't move you i nothing in this life ever will <laughs> I that was like freaking out, man. It was it was man, amazing. I yeah. felt that in the spirit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's legit. Those those particular uh when they trans the the and they keep posting it on Twitter too, like people when they like the Spanish version of, of when they hit the home run, it was, it was, it was great. Man. It's always like super excited. It feels like you're watching a World Cup game, uh, and it's like super excited and like like whenever they score a goal. Uh do you remember the Spanish announcers in Telemundo or in uh yes, or in yes. Univision? Uh, it's like I, I think it was yeah i remember that when they was ha- they would have like i think they would it was like 30 seconds of just saying goal Ooh, or like like goal yeah it was hilarious in spanish like it's just it, it, it hits different it hits yeah different. it's very different i saw i'm excited for this year's world cup too dude oh, like it's it's gonna be legit but we'll we'll do more we'll, we're gonna do some segments on the world cup for sure uh but let's finish it let's get back to the topic really quick oh yeah the game, oh, that, that- the, get, the game that nobody watched because <laughs> it was uh yeah, it was Philly. It was the Eagles versus the Texans, which we all knew the Texans were going to lose that game by far. Now, I will say this: the Texans' defense did contain um, uh, Jalen Hurts for for a good for, for a little bit because uh, I they I think they did a pretty good job. They sacked him a few times, which is crazy because I there hasn't been much uh, much pass rush lately. Uh, not much pass rush with the Texans' defense, if anything, you know. And so I thought that that was a pretty good um, pretty good. Uh, Pretty good effort by the Texans defense. I really enjoyed that. They tried uh, their best to keep them in the game, but you know, Mills is gonna Mills and you know, throw it to the other yeah. team. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I saw Poppy uh texting us. What did he say? Is he coming or not? He says, I smell horribly. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't make it. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I, saw the like, text I, I, I will say this. I was watching the game, like they put the Texans played surprisingly well in the first half, but yeah, again, they did. Plays. 
Uh, Mills did have two touchdowns in the first half, but he had 90 yards passing. Damian Pierce had almost that much at halftime. And then second half, the Eagles, you know, I think they, you know, were kind of, you know, um, sleepwalking through the first half. Second half, like, oh, okay, maybe we, we need to take this a little bit more serious. So mm-hmm. they adjusted the game plan, and that was the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. It's it's uh, It goes back to the same thing. I, I hope that now people are realizing that Davis Mills is just not the guy. Uh, he's not going to be the guy. He'll make a great. He'll make now. I, I will say this: he'll make a great backup uh, for the for the Texans. I just don't think he's the guy. You know, one thing that I've noticed about him that I did like. Uh, this is going to be a straight up compliment, and I don't know how you're going to feel about this. I know. Uh, I saw that he's throwing a little bit more on the run. He was able to move a little bit more and throw on the run. Is it accurate? Uh, no. no. Um, Those but, interceptions, like yeah, what the hell are you doing, bro? Like what? and. The hell yeah, exactly. That? And so uh, I saw that and I was like, you know what? I do like that. I do like that, that he's at least trying something else, that he was stepping up in the pocket a little bit better. But I mean, it's still not enough, you know? Um, and it's easy, like I said, it's easy for me to sit here, to literally sit here and just say that. But at the end of the day, I mean, we're just giving you a fan's perspective of it, hence the name of the show. But nonetheless, I mean, I, I don't see. I didn't see much of a, an improvement. There were some things that I did see improvement on from him throughout the season. Um, you know, some still making more, but it's still not mm-hmm. enough. Like it, it's still not enough. I still don't think he's a starting quarterback caliber. Um, I do. I, I still do see that the, the Texans going straight for a quarterback this particular off season. Um, one, so we're... yeah. Currently, currently, it just depends if the Texans start like, oh, let's let's you win a game. You know, games left. <laughs> Yeah, no, Maybe exactly. The Cowboys, because you know, we hope football gods, please. I can't wear that jersey around. Let's beat the Cowboys. Time. I'll be at that game myself over there in Arlington, so that's going to be fun. So you may have to do the show one day without me, which should be fine. I expect trash talking, sir. Oh, you, you and Robert. Yeah, Both exactly. It. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I, I expect it. Robert, yeah, I get him too. Yeah. Again, uh, for those of you, for to give you context, Robert's my my cousin and and uh, lives over there in Fort Worthless, Texas. That's right, Fort Worthless, and uh, he's, um, he's a diehard Cowboys fan since he has been since, since he was a kid. So he's real. He's one of those real ones, not the ones that go for the Cowboys, Yankees, and Lakers. He's uh, he's a real Cowboy fan, so I do respect his opinion, even though I don't like the Cowboys. I don't like him at all. I hit him as a person. <laughs> He's terrible. He's a terrible human being. He smells like gasoline. No, <laughs> the same thing over and over. No, um, nonetheless, uh, definitely uh, that, that Texans-Philly game, like I said, it was surprising. I did like, enjoy the defense. Uh, you know, there, Davis Mills did try what he could, <laughs> you know. He tried what he could, and then I, I was looking at some of this. And so Davis Mills was 13-22 to 22 for 154 yards. He had two touchdowns, but at the same time, dude, he had like two interceptions. Well, so, yeah, 90 of those yards were in the first half. Yeah, exactly. And so I don't I don't I don't see again much improvement there. There's some some particular aspect does, you know, there, there are some things that he did improve, like I said, but again, not enough to where I see him again being a starter next year at all. Um now, with that being said, another bit of Texans news. I mean, that's really all I could say about the, the, the Texans game, that particular game. The only good thing that came out of that particular uh, Texans versus Eagles game had to be the helmets, and that was it. I did like the helmets. Yeah, um, all right. yeah I'll give them that. The, the helmets did look really nice. The Texans red, you know, the debut of the red helmets. That was pretty nice. Other than that, the game itself was not – good like you got to see the uh how many people were there at that particular game and not that many surprise not so and i want to say surprisingly because everybody else was watching the astros game it was a uh, against Phil. it was yeah and so i i understand why i dude i had tickets for that game and i said no i'm not going because i wanted to watch the, the astros play the phillies and as so, any logical person would because yeah mm, you know yeah World now, Series, you know, great team versus a uh, dumpster fire. Yeah, yeah. It's a of choice. <laughs> exactly. But like I said, even though we're being a little realistic about this Texans team, uh, or sound, or maybe even sound a little negative towards them, the thing is that they do have a bright future. Uh, I have to say that because it wouldn't be fair because 
there have been a lot of changes. Uh, again, uh, if you saw one of our Jack used to be episodes that we talked about, I, having him go was the beginning of probably the best thing the Texans have done in the last few years. Yeah. Um, you know, with, with, you know, not including the signing of, um, excuse me, uh, drafting Derek Stingley and Petrie and getting Damian Pierce, uh, Letting Jack used to be go was probably the best, the best thing they've done in years. And now best thing in five years, honestly. Five years, yeah, exactly. It it may, makes you hopeful. And even though the stadium was impacted, uh, because you know, majority of the fans were either watching were either like with that with the Astros. I think now you may be able to see some more people show up um mm. there. No, I mean, not we know this, that this not this, this season's gonna this season's gonna be tank. Uh, it's gonna definitely going to to whatever. Uh and we predicted it. You and you and I and Poppy were talking about it. Like I don't think Wins. this season. Yeah, it's I'm it's not gonna go. Yeah, Jack it's, Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, except those, and that's it. And so we don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see anything. I don't, I don't expect this team to win anymore. And if and if they didn't this season, it wouldn't bother me. I know it sounds weird to say how how could you say that? That's the team. Yeah, but we're being realistic, and we know that they're probably tanking for a better reason. Uh, speaking of which. Um, <laughs> Dude, what do you think of the whole uh, uh, Cook situation with the Texans? Like, uh, he, his, yeah, I know he was expecting to get traded. Uh, then I know that he's been, I won't say negative. Well, he's been kind of like, actually, down. I have, I have a pretty hot take on that topic. So, yeah, go for it, dude. I think during the offseason when he signed that extension, he signed it with an agreement in place if they were basically not competitive that they would agree to trade him. And I think when it came time to trade him, they didn't. They went back on their word. That's why he's so right. upset. Because he's been a you know a company guy this entire time he's been here. Like, yeah. no losing. Never said anything negative. Never, you know, got out of line or whatever. And Sounds like Hopkins. All, all, all of a sudden, he's, you know, sitting out, posting all this cryptic stuff on Twitter. Like, I personally, they had an agreement in place that, if they weren't good, they were going to trade him to right. win it. He wants to win at this point. He doesn't want to keep playing on a rebuilding team. And the fact that they, they didn't do that, and from the reports that I've read, he was like this close to going to the Cowboys. Mm. But uh, I think Nick, I think he fumbled the bag on that one. Like, because they were offering, from what I've read uh, from multiple sources, you know, at least a second and a third round pick. Like, why not see? Take- that would have been a good one, uh, having a second round pick for Brandon Cooks. I mean, he's given you all that he could, you know, or or that he has. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, they had that agreement, like you said, and then basically you didn't, you didn't. I, I think they, they got greedy. The they didn't honor the word, and that's why he's so pissed. And yeah. I, honestly, I wouldn't blame him. Like the people, are like, oh, why did he sign the extension? He probably signed it with, you know, you know, a intent. general handshake agreement. Like, hey, you know, if we're terrible around the trade deadline, we'll send you to a good team so you can, you know. Play in the playoffs. I think that's a problem, though, and 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 again, this is nothing against Brandon Cooks, but at that point, it's like you don't in in this particular in the NFL, you don't have handshakes or general, ge- you know, gentlemen's agreement. Well, I think it's probably he made that agreement with Easterby, and that's, that's yeah, that's the thing. If he probably made it with Easterby, that's probably what it was. Uh, you know, him and like Brandon Brandon Cooks and Jackie Sir, yeah, I'll do it for you. You know, <laughs> sorry, I just have to do my that was my Easterby impersonation, by the way. Yeah, sure. We'll trade you. Uh, Lord. Again, it's like the manager from uh from the from the Simpsons. Don't want all the I didn't speak to my manager. Yeah, right, yeah. That's, manager. that's my impersonation of Jack Easterby. Yeah, Brandon, we'll 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 trade you somewhere. Yeah. No. Anyway, nonetheless. Uh yeah, I, I do feel bad. I mean, I do feel bad for the guy. I mean, I understand that that particular age that he's at, obviously he's not getting younger. I mean, he's not old, old or anything, you know, uh, but it's just, yeah, he's, I think he expected. Uh, 30, so when you, yeah. Typically, NFL players, especially mm-hmm. in the offensive side, they start to decline. Unless you're Tom Brady, you know. Right. On the fountain of youth to play another 10, 15 years. Like. And, I, and I think also that comes with the territory. I mean, you, you see all the stuff around you that is, they're definitely in a rebuild stage. And the, and the quarterback that you have right now is not going to get you those thousand yard games. I think this is one of the first games where he doesn't come up for like a thousand yards, right? Because he's been consistently having like a thousand yard seasons. Yeah, he's like nowhere anywhere close to no, that. Nowhere near that. Okay. Uh we have a few minutes left because quit. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah, like like Monte Davis. <laughs> I was like, I'm quit at halftime, y'all. Please retire as a halftime. Um, no, um, basically, yeah. I I, I, I would have been surprised see, if he sits out the rest of the season. Like, you know what? I'm not I'm not gonna play. Y'all treat me in the off season. Well, at the point, would you blame the guy? Because I mean, like, if you're if you're in a rebuilding stage and you start playing, honestly, that's him being honorable because he could sit he could sit out the season if he wants. Because we all know the direction this team is going for the rest of the season. However, I mean, if you're if you know that in the offseason you're gonna get traded, why play, save your body and not get injured and just sit it out? That's what I would do if I, if I had the option. Obviously, that's why I don't play that and because of my athletic ability. Nonetheless, <laughs> no, not at all. It's just no, cause... it's not that. It's clearly that, yeah. No, but nonetheless, I mean, yeah, dude, it's if I were him, I'd just set it out just for that particular reason. Why risk yourself to injury when you know you're about to get traded in the next offseason? Like, I got to play with this terrible quarterback for number 10. Like, nah, I'm nah we gonna, good. I'm nah, gonna... I'm good. Oh, oh, this ankle's hurting. This ankle's hurting. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> No, what is it? Uh, what was it like a Mike Fires? Uh, whenever he went against the Astros, oh, yeah, just, he had an injury every particular like, oh my elbow, oh something. There was always an injury. But yeah, he's playing in Mexico right now. Here's the name Orkidi. He's like, oh my shoulder, uh, uh, my shoulder. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so definitely that's gonna be uh, that, that's Brandon Cooks. I'm telling you, you should you should do that. Nonetheless, that's my advice, for Brandon. If you're listening, Brandon, which I don't think you are, sit up, sit up, bro. Yeah. No, um. Then okay, so now let's go over right uh because we only have a few more minutes. Uh because you know we try to keep these at 30 minutes, but then if you notice we go sidetracked on conversations just like I am now explaining this. All right, uh Texas versus Giants. Texas okay. versus Giants this weekend. Uh man, yeah, uh, Markley, uh you're going to win your matchup this week. Man, it's gonna have about four or five touchdowns. It's free free fantasy advice. Start Saquon Barkley against the Texans running defense. We said the exact same thing when Derek when they were playing the, the, the Titans and Derrick Henry uh was playing against the Texans. So like I said, start if you have if you have uh Saquon Barkley, I, I you should know by now if you if you don't, you shouldn't be playing fantasy. Start Saquon Barkley. He is going to give you some points for sure against that beat up uh, running defense of the Texans. They, At they least cannot... 150 yards total offense. Oh four. yeah, he's gonna, yeah exactly. Uh, count it as uh, the Giants receivers are going to take a huge break. Saquon, you got this. Go for it, fam. They're they're just going to be blocking out the whole game. Exactly. It's a Saquon oh, Barkley. Uh, like a Malik Willis, just hand the ball off the entire game. Yeah, That's hand the ball go. Yeah. Maybe a couple passes here and there just to, you know, for a little razzle-dazzle. But, you know, just give the ball to Saquon. Yeah. It's give the ball to Saquon. Let him do it. And that's it. That, that's going to be yeah. a Saquon Barkley game. I don't have much expectation for this game. Um, I yeah. It was probably... at least two, two more interceptions, minimum. Think so? I think so. It's yeah. been his trajectory so far. At least one or two picks a game. Yeah. And the Giants defense is actually pretty – they're pretty solid. And yeah, they're, they're going to sack him a few times. I, I expect at least five sacks. And it, was, it, was, it was a surprising uh, – it was a surprising turnaround for the for the Giants, like we've said at the beginning who's, of this year. We didn't have, nobody. Nobody did, yeah. Uh, the soul on this planet. So I don't even think the Giants themselves saw them. No, like, we're, we're doing what now? Yeah. We're winning? We're winning? What is this? <laughs> what is it like on the episode of The Simpsons when like they raise their head up? Oh, I'm not used to looking up. <laughs> it's like the next... Yeah, exactly. And so, no, I agree with you. I think it's it's going to be one of those things where um, the, the Giants are just are they were just good. They surprised a lot of people. Um, and you know, I I have nothing against the Giants. I think man, that's a pretty good team. Um, surprised like you were. You know, uh, I like the fact that I think at the beginning we at the beginning of the season, we talked about how uh, Saquon Barkley was probably going to have a good season. And so far, he's he's had a good season. I, I call those like if he stays healthy, he's going to have he's going to yeah. like rookie Saquon. And he has. So, yeah, he's looked better than rookie Saquon at this point. No, I agree. I, I wholeheartedly agree yeah, with that. I think he's I'm glad for those guys. Like they've had you know, bad injury years and I'm glad both those guys are playing well. Mm -hmm. Playing on teams that are going to be playing, you know, in January. Yeah, those those, those teams. That, I think the Giants are going to go pretty far. Uh, I don't. I honestly, yeah, I, I see. I, that's going that's going to be a good team uh, for sure. Uh, they're having a great season. I think the addition of Kayvon Thibodeau was actually really helpful for them as well. He's paid off uh, well for them. 
Um, and like I said, that that is a great team. So I honestly think that the Giants. Yeah, the, I, what do you what do you, what score are you predicting for the Texans Giants game this weekend? Uh, I'm gonna go Giants thirty five, Texans <laughs> nine. Okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're doing. I'm gonna Jamie Fairburn running your team. He's gonna get you some points, but uh, yeah. anyone else that's, that's a skill position, uh, it's gonna be a rough day. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad. Uh, let's go with. I'm gonna say the Texans only put up. This is, I think that I think the Texans get a touchdown. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say the Texans go with ten points, oh. touchdown and a field goal. Look uh, at I know this is me being optimistic. Texans with a field goal. Uh, and a touchdown, so 10. And I'm going to take the Giants. I'm going to take them at 28. They're, they're going to put some points. Yeah, 28, uh, 28 to 10 te- uh, Giants over Texans. That's my, my prediction. Yeah, well, if they do score a touchdown, it'll be Pierce. It will not be Davis. Yeah. It's in his jumping interceptions. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, Rex Burkhead, where are you? <laughs> Watch it be the Rex Burkhead show. <laughs> You know, at this point, let's talk about Damian Pierce really quick, okay? There was a – I don't know if you – I shared that video with you all. I think it's grid, uh, something with Gridiron. It's, it's a little podcast. Oh. And, uh, like ours. <laughs> it's a little podcast. And so I think they have more followers than us anyway, but nonetheless. Uh, one of the guys there mentioned that uh, Damian Pierce – it was like a really bad take. Uh, and he Honestly, talked about Damian the Pierce. worst take I've heard all yeah. year. I've heard – I watched, you know, ESPN and Fox Sports, and they – have some of the worst takes ever. This this one oh, takes the cake. I watched I watched this show and uh we have some bad takes. Yeah, <laughs> no. from the poppy guy. Right from that poppy dude. Ugh. I, heard, I, which I heard somebody he smells like ga- saying. <laughs> yeah, which I heard he smells like gasoline. No, nonetheless. No, we've we like this 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 particular take it was uh it was just bad all it was awful. It was they talked about how Damian Pierce was just a, a running back, a try-hard running back, because uh-huh. he only gets you like – I think they, they were talking about the Eagles game, how he only got you uh, – he, he ran for uh, – 39. Yard, yeah, 139 yards. And he basically got you 13.9 points on In fantasy. Fact. And, I mean, and that's why he labeled him as a try-hard. Uh and because he battles for yards or whatever, he battles so much. His his take was that he bat, that Damian Pierce battles for fights yards, for yards so. fights for yards for like six yards. I'm sorry, but this guy That's, is able to evade and break tackles. That's like the whole point. In the backfield, by the time he gets the ball, like it's, yeah, to be you know applauded, not like oh you're a try. What, what that, you I thought that was an awful take. Yeah, I think yeah, it, it was I a bad awful take. Mic. Turn it off. Take away the headphones. Take away the mic. Take him off the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's like don't, don't get me wrong. We're like we're not. Uh, I think it's called Players Choice Gridiron. That's what it was called. Players Choice Gridiron. Uh, it was a TikTok video, and so it was it was just a bad take overall. He talked about Damian Pierce that way. I'm like, and don't get me wrong. It's not because I'm like you know because I'm the, being that fan or whatever of of the team, but because it feels like that particular take was done in bad taste just because they're not familiar with, with uh, Damian Pierce. They're not familiar with all this stuff. It was just on bad taste. It was just, I felt like it was judging it by one game and that was it because uh, what about that game where Damian Pierce broke like 70 tackles? Remember that? Yeah. Why don't we talk about that? Why don't we take that into consideration? Because he's terrible. And- job obviously um i'm like dude like that was one particular game chill out you can't you know what i mean like you, you can't, you're judging this guy based off of one game so that was because i thought that was a horrible take yeah, he didn't get you points in fantasy like well i'm sorry look at the team he's playing they're yeah, exactly. undefeated for a reason <laughs> yeah anyway bad take but that, that was it uh but nonetheless uh damian pierce is definitely one of those guys who's yeah, who's, who's gonna be he needs to shoot yeah. at this point because yeah who else are you gonna give it to Exactly. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be it. We'll uh, join us tomorrow for um, our post game where we analyze what we saw, why <laughs> they lost, why, why we watched it, why we told why it. we watched it, why we're still sober, we and do well, a special guest. And we do have a special guest tomorrow. Uh, so I'm positive because the, the the rest is. Yeah, that's the positive part. We're going to have a special guest uh, tomorrow. We talked about it last week, and uh, we had some scheduling things that we have to work on, but 
our special guest is here tomorrow and uh should be fun we'll see if our um you know that other guy rambo joins us uh, hopefully he doesn't because you know i don't i don't like him at all poppy yeah no i don't like him either he's terrible he's terrible at his job he's worse than the guy that talked about damien pierce no, i'm just kidding <laughs> oh, you know, he is worse yeah all right y'all well it was great he's the worst of the worst yeah he's, he's an awful human being Does all right y'all well life happening to him and him well, alone. i'm trying to say bye like 20 times <laughs> all right man well, good seeing you, Rios. Uh, we'll watch uh, the game tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we have uh, better results. Hopefully it's better than what we talked about, but I doubt it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. I'm optimistic. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us uh, this particular evening. See y'all later. Peace.